So how do you cross country? We're going to Las Vegas. Dana and I are going to Las Vegas. This is Dana. Say hello. Hi. We're going to Las Vegas today. So me, if it's weather like this, I prefer to go cross country. Stick with us on. Uh, let's see what how the how the flight goes. Hi, I'm Scott Purdue, and this is Dana. We're going to uh, Las Vegas today uh, in the Bonanza. Beautiful day, and why not? We just have headwinds of 30 to some odd knots. So, uh, at least until we get outside of Texas. I'm going to keep it a little bit lower on the altitude-wise, and uh, we're going VFR. We're not going to talk to anybody, at least for a while. And uh, I kind of prefer it that way. Exercising my rights as a free American pilot. <laughs> So uh, we're going to go VFR. IFR if I have to. VFR is my preference. So stick with us on Flywire and we'll see how it goes. All right, here we are, top of descent. We're going to St. John's, Hilo, Sierra, Julia, November for our uh, fuel stop. And we're at three hours and 56 minutes. We're six minutes away, so four hours. We're stopped. We can go further, but we don't want to, right? That's right. So we're going to stop here for some gas, and uh, then we'll go. We'll go on to Vegas. It's about two hours from here. So we won't put any fuel in the tips either. So for descents, I plan on about 500 feet per minute descent rate. And I like to descend at the uh, bottom of the yellow, top of the green. And when I get there, I start pulling off two inches at a time during the descent to uh, keep me right there at the top of the green. Because I like going fast. Smoother, there, you can go to the yellow. But I wouldn't bank on it being smooth. As closer you get to the ground, the more likely it's going to get bumpy. Right? 6800 is our pattern altitude here. That's a little town. Right there, can you see it? Yes, I think so. Uh, and then the airport's just on the other side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check left a little bit because I'm just going to do a straight in. Left traffic here, which I mean you have to cross over and all the rest of that stuff. So I don't hear anybody on the radio. So I'll set up for a straight in. Right in, sounds good. Alrighty then. Sometimes I like to set OBS for the runway. Yep, there's the turbulence. You want to fly? No, I just put my hand on it and realized I don't want my hand on there, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, Dana actually did her first line. She flew for about an hour and 20 minutes. Really? Yeah. It didn't seem like that? She flew it, hand flew it, for about an hour and 20 minutes. Did really good. It seemed uh, less time than that, but maybe more stressful. <laughs> Not less stressful as I got the feel for it a little bit. Yeah. But I don't think I'm ready to uh, do an approach anytime soon. I don't think you're ready to solo. No, <laughs> definitely no. not. I have to tell Shannon. <laughs> Here. Flaps to half. Here is down. This is a little bit low. There we go. Gear is down. I wanted to be able to see the lights. You're fine. Uh, me, John Traffic, we got you uh, inside. We're going to head out just in front of you. St. John Traffic, going for Delta Mike, departing 3-1, St. John, or 3-2, St. John. He's, down. he's at the end of the runway. Right? Yes, he is. He's okay. right there on the numbers. If he rolls now, we're good. St. John's Traffic, uh, White Bonanza is one mile straight in for 3-2, St. John. Claps to full. He's rolling. Here's down. Down. 
A bit of arrow breaking. Right, the weed. Clear the runway at St. John's. Yeah. Due to the flaps, they're coming up. My favorite kind of flight is an uneventful one, and this was a pretty much one. But there's a couple of really cool things to see. One of them was the Meteor Crater. That's about uh, just west of Winslow, Arizona, about 40 miles east of Flagstaff. It's named after a post office. Can you believe it? And it was once known as Canyon Diablo Crater or the Beringer Crater after the family that owns it. It's 3,900 feet in diameter, 560 feet deep, and it was uh, where the Apollo moon astronauts, moon landing astronauts trained. The other is, is uh, Humphreys Peak. This is Flagstaff, Arizona. It's pretty cool. It's a dormant volcano. It's 12,600 feet ish high, and it's uh, the highest point in Arizona. Rumor has it that it was the inspiration for J.R. Tolkien's Lonely Mountain. Uh, well, I'm just kidding about that. But it does look like a lonely mountain to me, and uh, it's pretty cool. They've got a really great uh, – uh, I just flew over Flagstaff Airport. Really great uh, ski area there. So this is my plan on how to fly into uh, flag, uh, Vegas. I plan on going VFR here, and then uh, I'm going to got to go through the Bravo, so I'm going to do the Cortez VFR Corridor. That's my evil plan, and uh, see how it works. It's pretty complicated. My previous experiences with uh, uh, Vegas um, has been they're not super friendly. <laughs> so hopefully it'll change. It's Lake Mead. Pretty cool place. And I'm heading towards Meads right now. Let's talk to ATC real quick and see if we can get clearance for the Cortez. Bravo fly heading 290 vector for North Las Vegas. Main, set to maintain 6,500. 290, 6,500 for a whiskey bravo. 5-1 Romeo, radar contact, 6 miles east of Temple Bar, clear to Bravo Air Space, maintain your present altitude, fly heading 290, vector for North Las Vegas. 290, 6,500, I'm at 68, 300 to go. Las Vegas approach, good afternoon, Bonanza, November 850, Kilo Sierra, 8,500. Mary 50 Kilo Sierra, Las Vegas approach. Las Vegas Health Center 3025. And verify your altitude 8,600. And 850 Kilo Sierra approach. Las Vegas approach, Bonanza, November 850 Kilo Sierra. Ray, 50 kilos here, Las Vegas approach, out of here. Las Vegas, would you like me to relay 838 Whiskey Bravo, relay to 8 Kilo Kill? Yeah, if you would, we just wanted to. We got switched over from LA. Uh, we're trying to report in 850 Kilo Sierra. Yeah, and 850 Kilo Kilo, uh, Las Vegas can hear you. Uh, apparently, you can't hear him. He's got a squawk for you. Could you say it again, Las Vegas? Number 
Three Whiskey Bravo. Uh, you can contact North Las Vegas Tower One Two Five Point Seven. Have a good day. Two Five Point Seven. Three Whiskey Bravo. Thank you. Sure. Good day. North Las Vegas. This is uh, Eight Whiskey Bravo. Approach over Nellis. Approaching with Romeo. Three Eight Whiskey Bravo. North Las Vegas Tower. Would you prefer to enter left base or to cross midfield to make right traffic? Across the field, do right traffic would be the easiest for me. Great Whiskey Bravo. Santa 3, Whiskey Bravo, no problem. Maintain BFR at or above 3,500. Cross midfield to make left, correct, to make right traffic. Right traffic, Romeo 1 2 right. 1 2 right, cross over the field for right traffic. Uh, one, 1 2 right for Great Whiskey Bravo. And Bonanza 3, at Whiskey Bravo, uh, you can cancel the out restriction. 8 Whiskey Bravo, thank you. State one seven three Lima State Parking. Kilo three hangers. To fit the run up there, we have to seven. Serious eight one seven three Lima Roger right turn taxiway hotel and Sarampus frequency. Have a great day. No need to contact ground. Seven three Lima. Good day. Thanks for the help. Gear speed, gears coming out. Bonanza 3 Whiskey Bravo, runway 1 2 right, runway 1 2 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 1 2 right, for a Whiskey Bravo. That's going to have. Gears down. North Las Vegas Tower, Cherokee 4151 Romeo at 6,000 with November to land, full stop. Eric, I'm calling North Las Vegas Tower, say again. Cherokee 4151 Romeo at 6,000 with November, full stop. Cherokee 4151 Romeo, North Las Vegas Tower, enter left base, Romeo 1 2 right. Left base, 1 2 right. 5 1 Romeo. Down. Busy, busy, busy. It was a slam dunk. That's what that's called. It keeps so high. Here's down. Pups are down. Well, now you know my uh, secret, my evil secret. I like flying VFR. 
Once upon a time, I had to fly IFR to the max extent possible, and then I retired from that, and I had to fly IFR all the time. So now I like to cherish my freedom as long as it lasts to fly VFR across the country, not talk to anybody, unless I want to. And uh, that's a pretty cool thing, so I really like that. Today, uh, or for this trip, the uh, uh, VFR was wonderful. Yeah, I had headwinds, but you know, that's part of the game. Um, totally uneventful trip to uh, uh, St. John's. It was a good refueling stop. It was about four hours, and uh, then it was about two and a half-ish to get to Vegas from there. Um, along the way, you saw the meteor crater. <laughs> that, was, that was really cool. It's actually the first time I've flown that, uh, that close to it. Um, it was pretty, pretty cool. We actually went there. You can go there. It's owned by the Behringer family, and uh, you can go there, and sometimes they'll let you in into the crater itself. It's, uh, it's a way cool thing to do. And they claim it's the best preserved crater in the world, and uh, I believe it because you know, erosion is taking its toll on that crater, and it's done everything else. You know, our atmosphere does one thing. It protects us from meteorites. Uh, this one's 50,000 years old, so it's really not that, you know, old, but uh, mostly the atmosphere protects us from meteorites. So anyway, check that out. Uh, the Lonely Mountain was uh, pretty cool, and then on into Peach Springs and then to Meads. And my evil plan was uh, to do the Cortez Corridor, but uh, ATC was having none of it. But the first time I've flown in Vegas, and the uh, controllers were great. <laughs> And um, they, you know, just, hey, okay, fine. You're going to go through Bravo, go for right over Nellis and uh, go to North Las Vegas. Everything worked out fine. So I've always been operating on the south side of town, and maybe that's the mistake. All the controllers down there don't like me or like GA or something. I don't know. But anyway, uh, VFR is a wonderful thing. I really enjoyed it. Getting into Vegas wasn't a problem. Whatever stays, whatever happens in North Las Vegas stays in North Las Vegas. So we won't talk about anything else. Uh, a lot of fun. Appreciate you watching the video, and if you liked it, hit subscribe. That really helps me out, and uh, if you want notifications, ding the bell, and that helps uh, so you can see the next video. By the way, the next one is going to be leaving Vegas. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be leaving Vegas, and uh, we're going to go to the Grand Canyon West and fly over the Grand Canyon. That's the plan, and I'm real excited about that. We're going to share that with you and see how that goes. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Flywire. Oh, I forgot to mention that if uh, this is my new logo, I like it pretty, it's pretty cool. It's an F-15E pulling vorts uh, once upon a time. What can I say? But anyway, if you like this, uh, the t-shirts, I have t-shirts and sweatshirts and uh, uh, maybe a hat. I can't remember exactly what. It's on the website on the uh, merch links uh, page. So go there and check it out if you want to get a t-shirt or something like that. Support the logo and uh, I appreciate your support. See you next time.